Reisende in Richtung Zweisimmen. Hello everyone, I am in Interlaken, Switzerland. Actually, I'm closer to Brienz, but I came in through the train station at Interlaken. Cause like, I don't think y'all understand how mind blowing this is to me. Like, oh my God, I, I am here. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I am here because of crash landing on you. Let's get this straight. Okay, yup, yup. When looking for hotels to stay at, I discovered that one of the hotels that a filming location for crash landing on you is actually, you know, a real hotel. It's really beautiful. They upgraded me to the Lakeview Suite for free, so shout out to them. I am by myself. So, yeah, I can make a lot of jokes about that, but I'm not going to because I self love. So I'm only here for one full day, so I got in late afternoon, evening time tonight, and I'm heading out in two mornings, but hey, here's the waterfall. Wow. But we're gonna try to hit up as many filming locations as possible from crash landing on you, because the nature is simply so beautiful, and it's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow, which I actually think is perfect, because a lot of crash landing on you is not sunny when it's filmed in Switzerland. But I'm really glad that I got to catch the sunset tonight, because, you know, the dopamine is dopamining. But yes, I have a full day of filming tomorrow, like no other. I have shots planned out and shit timed down to the hour. So we're gonna get some dinner and then get some rest and wake up early. See you in the morning. But before we continue any further, let's talk about today's partner, Epidemic Sound. As y'all know, I source pretty much all of my sound effects and music from Epidemic. They make editing such an ease because I don't have to worry about copyright strikes and they have such a diversity and large library of sound effects and music to choose from. The Epidemic Sound website makes it really easy for you to search for what you need, whether it's KRNB or just random sound effects, like I was looking for a duck sound effect earlier today. And I had a really great time finding music that matched the crash landing on you vibe without actually using music from the soundtrack, which would land me some copyright strikes. And Epidemic Sound is one of the companies I love because of their mission to support artists and their users and a community. Their community program allows you to start earning and giving back and gaining back. Once you accumulate 12 referrers, you can become an ambassador with the ability to earn affiliate income. So if you'd like, you can try out Epidemic Sound by using my code LIN50 for a 30 day free trial plus two months at 50% off. Love y'all Epidemic Sound. Thank you for sponsoring this video and I'll see you soon. When I tell y'all, this is the nicest hotel I've ever stayed at. It's definitely the nicest accommodations that I had the entirety of my Europe trip. It was just so quaint and beautiful. There were a lot of historical touches that they preserved. The bed frame, the armchair, the dresser all reminded me of the antique furniture set from Animal Crossing. And the bathroom was a dream. I love the mint sage tiles. But unfortunately, the one gripe I did have about Switzerland is the food is really expensive, but really bland. I can see why it's a nice meal to have once in a while but i got tired of the swiss food pretty fast and i was craving spice so badly so when i had dinner for the first time i was pretty surprised by just how unseasoned everything was but before you know it i headed to bed and then it was the next morning what the fuck <laughs> I 
starting the day by going to Grindelwald. I took the complimentary car service from the hotel to the Brienne's train station, and this takes you straight to Grindelwald once you transfer at Interlaken. Even when I was waiting for the train to come, I was just taking in all the beautiful pieces of nature. Like, look how blue that water is, y'all. <laughs> commute there were two things going through my mind one there is no excuse for the united states to not have a good public transportation system because here in switzerland where there is a lot of mountains where it's arguably very hard to establish things like railroads and free public transport they've done it and also the second thing is i saw so many families and couples and this was the first time that i really felt alone not lonely, but I was very much more aware that I was solo traveling compared to the other tourists and visitors. But the cool thing is, while I was making my way up to the ski lift to get to the mountain, I actually ran into a Vietnamese family. It was like a family of a grandma, a mom, and two daughters, and they were so sweet. I noticed they were speaking Vietnamese, so I was like, oh my gosh, are y'all Vietnamese? And we were able to like have a little bonding moment. And I really like moments in traveling like that where you're just able to meet people from across the world but still find common ground with them and it kind of feels like a piece of home even though they're strangers. The place that I booked to go up the mountain is called Grindelwald First Top of Adventure. They also have a paragliding experience but I was a little too scared for that so I just hopped on the ski lift and from what I can remember the trip up to the mountain took around 45 minutes and the views were so beautiful it's really cool to see the greenery slowly change into a snowy landscape as you grow higher in altitude. Not gonna lie, if you're not a fan of heights, this is not gonna be for you, but I absolutely love heights, so it was really cute and a peaceful ride up. Hi, Y'all, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's snowy up here, and <laughs> I'm just wearing my Converse. Thank God I haven't slipped yet, but we're gonna knock up some wood because I am very much a cut. But it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm just like taking it in. I think I'm gonna walk this little suspension bridge that's down below. Captain Ree, Sari, where are you? Don't get me wrong, Crash Landing on You is an amazing drama with great chemistry, but also the two lead actors are married and they have a kid in real life, so every type of audience member just eats that up, right? And being here in Switzerland, if I traveled here with someone, I would definitely fall in love with them. Like, this is definitely the environment made for falling in love. Guys, I've really only seen this type of stuff in Minecraft and in Crash Landing on You. I think up there is where they filmed the scene in Crash Landing on You, but I'm not sure if they're operating today. These are everywhere I go. It's little blocks that people do with their friends and significant others, but I'm alone, so. Mm -hmm. Maybe looking down was a mistake. I've been living on. I can say that it's been on my mind, but I'm moving along. So, judging I can't put this again. I went 
crash in a foreign country and find the love of my life too. <laughs> I was feeling pretty hungry after coming down from Grindelwald, but I waited until I got back to Interlocking because it was pretty expensive around the area and I picked up some snacks from a convenience store because I didn't really have any time for a sit down meal and then we were gonna head out via bus to Eiseldwald, which is where the very famous pier is, you know, where they're playing the piano and stuff. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm talking about. I was really rushing to make sure that I could get to all my destinations before the sunset, so let's go. Oh. <laughs> I have never seen anything do more than you. Can I you? Despite it becoming overcast, the water was still so crystal blue and there was quite a long line at the pier of mostly Asians. I, I haven't seen that many Asians congregate in one place in Europe, like ever. <laughs> Iseltwald is pretty small so I walked around a little bit before going to stand in line and it's safe to say this is one of the prettiest places I've ever been. <laughs> tired at this point but I was like we have to go to the panorama bridge which is where a lot of the flashback scenes are shot and crash landing on you and you know this is a very emotional part of the show so if you haven't seen it yeah I was kind of trying to mentally prepare myself caught the last bus of the Sigwis wheel it's almost seven it is seven question mark and we're here at the panoramic bridge and it's the last scene that we're visiting today All right, y'all, the audio is so, so nasty here, and I don't know why. I think my mic just cut out and started adding a lot of static, but essentially, this is me talking about how I was stranded, and I was really afraid that I wouldn't be able to get back to my hotel. I was in a completely different town than where my hotel was, and I didn't realize that in Interlaken, in Brenz, they do not have transit 24-7 like they do in DC. So the bus I took 
to the panoramic bridge was the last bus of the day, and I didn't realize this. So you bet your ass I was panicking because there are no Ubers, no bolts, no lifts in this part of Switzerland. And then I realized I had a business card from a taxi driver, so I called them up on WhatsApp, and they did respond, and they were coming to get me. But I will say, this taxi ride ended up being 100 USD, if not more, like uh, I think 120 after I tipped. So be mindful of that if you ever go to Switzerland. If you're ever in Interlaken or surrounding cities, add their taxi, please support. Ha <laughs> <laughs>